Hey everyone, it's Deb Cottle from Cottle and Gun in St. Mary's, Georgia. And I just want to give you a little glimpse inside the life of a shopkeeper tonight. So I hope everybody's having a great Sunday and a great weekend. And I'm just excited to kind of give you a quick tour of my shop and my home tonight. So we're not painting tonight. I just thought it would be fun to just show you what my life is like as a Miss Mustard Seed retailer and as a shopkeeper in a small town. And I welcome any questions you may have. I will um, flip the camera around. We have a very long commute because I live above my store. So as y'all are hopping on, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I always love going live on Miss Mustard Seed's milk paint page and see everybody and see where y'all are watching from. So um, I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna walk around the shop for just a second and then we're gonna go upstairs. I think it'll be a great way to show you how I incorporate everything paint into my modern day living. So welcome as you all hop on, just let me know everything's working. Hopefully we won't lose any connections and we'll just have a nice little chit chat and um, we'll just walk around. So I'm actually standing right now in front of my paint display and I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're actually in my studio right now and we are uh, located in a very small town in St. Mary's, Georgia. And hello friends, as you all hop on. So I'm hoping I'm on the right page. Oh my lordy. Please tell me I'm on the right page. I think I am. If not, I'll do it again. What the heck? Um, please make sure I'm on the right page. Oh my goodness. Okay, Chris is here now. I was like, Chris is not here. Oh my gosh, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> All right, y'all know that I am crazy. So, um, so I am in my studio right now, and this is my um, milk paint section of the studio. And we just absolutely love Miss Mustard Seed here. We have a lot of painted furniture in this store, and this is my studio. We um, also carry IOD and Annie Sloan, and we have um, all of our classes and everything in this workspace. And then this is where I paint. So um, I'm always in here um, painting and whatnot. And then this is my main store. And um, we're small but mighty. We're just a little tiny little store. But at the conclusion of our tour, I'll have some very exciting news. This is me, Coddle and Gun. I'm the Coddle. And that's how the store name became in existence. So we do offer uh, lots of different um, local goods here. We sell things for 27 different people. And hey, thanks. That's my staging wall, girl. Um, and then we also concentrate on Made in Georgia products. There's Tricycle right there in all of her glory. So we do, um, it's very important to me to promote the independent small crafter as well as made in Georgia things. So here is Luckett's right there on this little pie safe. This is Luckett's in boxwood on that little shelf. And let's see what else we have in milk paint in here right now. This is by the sea. That will be coming out shortly. So that's by the sea on this hutch. And um, that's it for the store, you guys. So I want you to look at the store because you will definitely see um, parts of me in the store. Well, obviously me in the store. But as we run upstairs, you're going to see um, what inspires me. So, okay, now y'all ready for the commute? This is my daily commute. We're gonna come out the back door. Oh, there's an elevator. I take the stairs, make sure I didn't lock myself out. I take the stairs in the morning in the elevator at night because I'm tired at night. So um, it's pretty funny, right? So I'm gonna hope that I do not um, lose you all when I go in the elevator. If I lose you, I'll come right back, but I should be okay. So. Let me make sure. So we're gonna hop in our elevator. We're a very small town and we're like one of the only elevators in this entire town. So 
accidentally pushed the help button one day with the groceries in my hands and I heard 911, what's your emergency? And I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just really call 911 in the only elevator in St. Mary's? <laughs> like, how embarrassing was that, right? Okay, it looks like you guys are staying on. All right, so here I am, I'm home. So my friend Whitney made that for me. And I do live with an 11 year old, so you know, here's her instructions for entering the house. So, <laughs> all right. So here we are in my house now. I turned some lights on so y'all could see. So first of all, this is a, a constant reminder. Um, when I leave the house every day, do what you love and love what you do because that's very important to me. And then this was kind of a design challenge, you guys, because it's a pretty narrow hallway to enter my apartment. So what should I do, right? Well, I did the Hall of Mirrors. So I've collected vintage mirrors for quite some time. And so this is the entrance into my apartment and it's all mirrors. So this was a really cool old sign that I got a couple of years ago on um, Peaches to Beaches yard sale, if y'all are familiar with this area. Um, and so that hangs a, um, opposite, I guess, of the mirrored wall to not compete with the mirrors. So. I'm gonna go slow. We're gonna go down here. Maddie's room is not on the tour tonight, you guys. Um, the reality is she's an 11 year old and I'm choosing my battles. So I'm choosing my battles with her room right now and it is not open for business. But I do wanna show you my little half bath because I collect things, you guys. I collect things and one of the things that I collect is all of these first aid kits. So they're kind of all over my little half bath. Look at those, the little cute Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. And so, yeah, I collect lots of things. That's a World War II Red Cross apron. Can you imagine being that little, that you wouldn't have that little apron? And so, yeah, I collect all vintage medical, which you'll see that as well. Exactly. Choose the battles. Okay. Choose the battles. And even though Maddie's not home right now, we're choosing the battles. So we're not showing her room. Then you enter into the main part of my apartment. And what I really kind of want to talk about tonight is that I do have a lot of painted pieces in my house, but I also have a lot of no non-painted pieces. Um, very carefully, very carefully, I got those on the wall. Um, here's looking down the hallway as you leave my apartment. It makes me happy. And you can strike a pose each time, you know, or you can go, oh my God, go back and do your hair before you go to the store. So this is my most favorite piece of furniture. It's been with me probably the longest. I actually took it to college with me and it's a pie safe. And um, it's just one of my favorite pieces. I will never paint it. I don't want to paint it. It's gorgeous. It holds a lot of my kitchen stuff. This little stool actually has been with me quite some time. It's actually painted in apron strings, which is um, being renamed Pink Grapefruit. I took that and um, did a little demo on Pink Grapefruit a couple months ago, I guess, but it's coming out shortly. So that's Pink Grapefruit. I, as you come into my apartment, as I mentioned, I collect things, you guys. I do collect things. Um, I had a greyhound. Actually, Maddie is named after the greyhound, which I'll show you that in just a minute. But I had a, a retired greyhound for many years, and so I started collecting greyhound bus stuff. That actually came from the greyhound bus station up in Brunswick when they closed it. It was the outside sign. So now it's in my house. And I've got all kinds of Greyhound bus stuff. Because I collect milk paint, I have milk stuff, milk bottles. This was all part of my dad's collection. And so I love my collections. I say it's not really hoarding when it's cool stuff. So, and little mini stuff. I collect mini, like mini toys and things like that. All of those things are mini toys. So I just 
love all that stuff. Um, you wouldn't be a true vintage shop owner if you didn't own a card catalog. So, of course, I have a card catalog. And that's a really fun piece. Typeset, Coddle and Gun. So, I love, you know, I love Coddle and Gun. So, I'm married to the store. I should love it. Um, the old church registry. And then we're going to get into some painted pieces here. This is what my TV is on. This is actually a custom blend of um, ironstone with just a little tiny bit of French enamel. And I painted the piece first in Annie Sloan, and then I put the milk paint over it. So I love using both paints together. And this was, I'll show you what this originally was because this is the matching table, and I left the table au naturel. So do you see how slick that finish is on it? I knew that milk paint was gonna be a challenge. So that's why I chose to put the chalk paint down first, and then I painted over it. But you can still see I left the chalk paint coming through. So, and I want you all to think about doing, you know, different kinds of things. Obviously, different things, you know, this is obviously not a TV stand. This is a 1930s dining room set. And it looks fantastic with my TV on it because I don't like traditional furniture. So, this harp up here, that's painted in Miss Mustard Seed Artissimo and Boxwood. That's a dresser harp turned upside down. And so the mirror was broken, but it was so pretty, I didn't want to ruin it, and I didn't want to throw it away, so I just turned it upside down and put a box of wreath on it. So I'm an avid globe collector, so all the front of my apartment has a bunch of my globes, so you can see them all across there. This makes me very happy, as I just absolutely love globes. <laughs> Um, my friend Whitney also did that create sign for me and my daughter Maddie created that create sign for me. So I like to have little whimsical things and reminders that I have a little girl that lives in the house with me. So I think that that's fun. Speaking of Maddie and the Greyhound, my friend Mary Jane Jones, great artist, she painted that for me and that's Maddie at the old store right when we started Coddling Gun and the Greyhound passed away six weeks after I adopted Maddie, and so I didn't have very many pictures with them together, and so she created that for me. I just absolutely love it. So this piece is Miss Mustard Seed Farmhouse White. The top I sanded down smooth and applied just hemp oil to it. That's just a hemp oil finish on top of this um, gorgeous East Lake style little um, side table, and it's got the original casters on it. I sit and drink coffee in this chair every morning, and so some of these are my just my favorite things. This, um, when life gives you lemons, make orange juice and leave the world wondering how you did it. The hummingbird picture. This is glass that I collected on the beach in Cuba when I went to Guantanamo Bay and taught paint classes. Um, a few years ago, we collected that sea glass, so that reminds me of that. This is another little memory of mine in a cotton field that was special, and some may not think this is cool, but my daddy is in these in this old Sanka coffee can, um, so he has coffee with me every morning. He loved instant coffee, and so a little part of him is in that coffee can after I lost him. I got business of the year last year in covid year 2020, which I was really proud of. So that sits by my coffee table as well. So I have a um, old lineberry cart as my table and um, it changes quite frequently what I have on it. Right now it's got old binoculars, pool balls, whatnot. Pillows are from Coddling Gun. This one just came in, which I love it. Life is better local. I mentioned that I collect all things medical. This piece had been painted already and it was black when I bought it and I wanted it uh, chippy white. So I did a wax resist on this using a wax puck and 
got that texture so it looks really old. And the inside of it, I painted in a watered down version of French enamel. So this is an old dental cabinet. And then I collect the old apothecary jars and whatnot on the top. The St. Mary's Georgia 1787 was a piece that came off my original um, store of the old original clappered siding from the 1880s. And so that's kind of a part of me. If you all haven't figured out right now, um, I'm kind of like really sentimental and I like things that um, evoke memories and that mean something to me. So I have ticking on my chairs. This is a perfect example of not everything has to be matchy matchy. My chairs are painted in old white. I have the ticking and the tables, it's original finish from the 1930s. I just kept it that way. I like that it's all mishmatchy, um, but I like the simplicity of the ticking. And um, this dining table actually does match the other piece that is with my TV on it. So they're a matching set. But I really didn't do much to this. So this is um, my church pew. It came from a church up in Pennsylvania and is dated to the 1880s. So it was cut down for me, but I absolutely love it. I've been selling and buying church pews for so many years and I finally, finally bought one. So it sits in my home. This is also from the 1800s. It's my coffee station, but it's a Possum Belly Baker's Cabinet. So that's where I make my coffee every morning. I love all things buttons. I can't sew a button on, but I've always been mesmerized with buttons. So my little button collection is up there in an old coffee grinder and whatnot. In my kitchen, I have my coddling gun sign established 2014 that I made. It's just, I don't know. I work hard and so I like to be reminded of what I've done, I guess. This is an old little pie safe. It's got more coffee and tea in it. I'm a big iced tea drinker. So the, the kind of, I don't know, the kitchen's kind of like, eh, whatever. All right, so now we're gonna go upstairs. On the landing, we also have a um, bunch of <laughs> medical stuff. Um, something about me is I was a pre-med major in college before I actually got my degree in hotel restaurant management. I spent 25 years in the restaurant business and then I, I left it all to open a paint shop. So what can I say? So now we're gonna go upstairs. I'll try not to make y'all dizzy. I collect typewriters. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I collect so many things, it's crazy. So this is part of my typewriter collection. I still have more. I'm looking for a um, Red Royal Quiet Deluxe. So if anybody has a lead on a red one, please tell me, because I want one. So this is my bedroom, and um, it's got quite a bit of different painted pieces going on in here. My favorite Miss Mustard Seed colors are Artissimo and Luckets. This one is Artissimo, but as you can see, I kept the top natural, I kept the mirror natural, and I just really love it. And then I have this dresser, which is Luckets. So I love the Luckets and the Artissimo together, the green and the navy, I just think are amazing. And my bedding is from Ballard Designs. People ask that quite a bit, where my bedding is from. So that's Ballard. I actually had, you can get the fabric too. So I had this um, chair reupholstered in the Ballard Design ticking fabric to match my bedding. And it's kind of like um, deconstructed because that's what I wanted. I have this on my wall. I read it every morning before I go downstairs. Um, she said, I've learned that whenever I decide something with an open heart, I usually make the right decision. I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be one. I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love a warm hug or just a friendly pat on the back. 
I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I really feel like that's how I live my life. So I want them to never forget how a piece of furniture made them feel or how I made them feel. So I love that. This is also milk paint and I can't remember, I did not paint this one, but it has like amazing um, crazing and cracking going on on this piece. So that is my dad and Maddie, my favorite picture. I lost my dad a couple years ago. He was the world to me. And so I also had Mary Jane paint that painting for me. And I love having it in my bedroom. My headboard is a um, solid cypress mantle. It came out of a big, huge estate. And I did not want a traditional headboard. And so this is a old cypress mantle that I use as my headboard, which I love it. Um, this picture right here was done for me and that was inspired by Marion Parsons, who is Miss Mustard Seed, the founder of Miss Mustard Seed. And she had one of these that I just fell in love with on one of her blog posts. And so I had it recreated and I just absolutely love it. It sits on top of my empire is probably one of my favorite um, styles of furniture. So I just absolutely love it. I have the wolf uh, mannequin in my room that holds some of my jewelry. The drapes up here from half off drape, half off drapes. I think that's what it's called. And um, so I like it. We're pretty high up now. We're on the third story of my building. So we're pretty high up. And it's just my bedroom up here. And of course I have more collections in my bathroom. Um, up here, I collect shaving brushes. <laughs> you guys, I am crazy, I know it. Um, but in this little cabinet, um, I like to collect little shaving brushes because I just think it's something fun to look for when you're out shopping. So, and then there's more of the medical stuff with all of my bandages and all of that stuff in it. So anyways, shaving brushes for the win in my bathroom. So other than that, it's just kind of a normal bathroom. I don't have much collection going on up here, guys. It's a pretty simple bedroom, but it's classic. I like it. It's sweet. So, all right. So let's go downstairs again. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. I'm pretty much an open book. So obviously I'm sharing my home with you. And, um, but I think it's fun to kind of see how we live. I often say people are like, oh, your house must be amazing. And I said, well, sometimes it is. And then sometimes it looks like a Goodwill on steroids because it's got like projects going on all over the place. So, you know, what can I say? So I was on the Christmas tour of homes a few years ago and that was amazing. I had so much fun decorating my house for the tour of homes, but I don't think I want to do it again because there was like almost a thousand people that walked through my house in four hours and it was quite a lot of work. So I'm going to go out my porch and Lord knows I did not even, I haven't been out here because it's too hot. So what I want to show you though is for three years now, I've been sitting on this porch and I've been looking out drinking my coffee and I've been looking over across the street here and there's this amazing piece of property over here, right? Not that little piece, but all that beautiful woods and, and that big long building over there. And guess what you guys, I'm buying the building. So I am so excited because Coddling Gun is moving and Coddling Gun is expanding and our shipping department is expanding and it has just been an amazing adventure for me. And I just kind of feel like for three years, I've been looking at that and who knows that that would just be my destiny is to be in that building. So I welcome you all to follow me along on my journey as I transform a tavern into a store. 
Um, but I'm very, very excited for the opportunity. It comes with a lot of land, and so I will be able to do um, pop-up events and all of those kinds of things, which I'm really, really excited about. And um, it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to definitely be worth it. Um, we do ship a lot, so I always want you to go to your local um, Miss Mustard Seed retailer, but if you don't have a local Miss Mustard Seed retailer, I definitely welcome your business, and um, I'm, I welcome you your business and I will ship it out to you. So I'm just really excited to be expanding my business. So, um, man, it's a lot. <laughs> but so if y'all don't see me for a while, it's because I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Um, what was I thinking buying a tavern and making it into a shop? But I think it's going to be great. And, um, so what can I say? So I guess, that's it. Do y'all have any questions about the life of a shopkeeper? I don't know what else I can show you. I'm definitely not showing you the closets because, you know, like every normal Instagrammer slash Facebook girl, the closets are full of stuff. <laughs> so we don't actually live like this all the time. Um, but we do live like this when our children are not home. So I'm like, we keep it pretty clean of um, the house pretty clean when Maddie's not around. I love her dearly, but she is 11 going on 16. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, just let us know. Um, I hope this has just given you kind of a little insight into what it's like to um, decorate your home. And I like to say that I'm a vintage girl living in a modern world. I like all my old stuff. I love all my antiques and my vintage quirky collections. Yet I like comfortable seating. I like a really fluffy couch. I like to be comfortable. So I'm, you know, I'm a vintage girl living in a modern world and I just love having all of that. I think there's a way to incorporate all of the different kind of styles, um, whether you are more of a vintage girl like me or a boho girl or, you know, a coastal girl, um, Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint painted pieces, which we sell a lot of them. They really fit into any kind of decor and any kind of style that you want to incorporate them into. So... I sure do. Thank you for watching tonight. If you catch me in the replay, let me know that you watched. Tell me where you're from. It's always exciting to see where people watch from. And um, if you have any questions, please reach out. We're always here to help you all. If you need paint and you don't have a local retailer, head on over to coddleandgun.com. And um, I'm usually fully stocked in everything. And I'm happy to ship it out to you and give you advice on whatever you need. So, all right guys, have a great Sunday. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll go back to work downstairs and turn the lights off. I mean, I hate to commute back back to the shop, but um, I gotta go shut up the store now. So <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.